Hi all, I just want to quickly introduce you to the AP Physics um, program. It is really not more difficult than normal science. It only focuses on physics, so it's not chemistry, it's only physics. And um, if you are interested in doing it, you can do it outside of school. You don't have to do it as part of your normal school curriculum. So even if your school does not offer it, you can do it on your own. And I'm going to tell you how. You just need to go to your academic head at your school and say to them that you want to enter for the physics exam and they will help you with that. It is, you only have to enter that in your matric year. So it is a two-year course, but you don't have to enter in grade 11. You only have to enter in your matric year. We start with it in grade 11 because the work really needs two years to do. Some of you will be able to do it in one year. So you can, we have some students at my school that decided they're only going to start in their matric year and they're going to do it all on their own. And that is perfectly fine. The only costs you'll have is in your entry into the IAB um, exam. So the AP physics program, like you can see here, is I know it's called advanced and it is, you do need the normal science to be able to do this. But you will see it's not really harder, it's just different. So we do analytical skills which teaches you about apparatus and why you shouldn't be writing things to 50,000 decimal places because your apparatus can't actually measure it. So it is real life stuff and you're going to get to use that in university as well if you're going to carry on studying physics. Thermal physics, it's not in your syllabus and it's it's relatively easy. These are, this is done in grade 11. Modern physics, all about particles. We've ex, um, discovered so many more particles um, lately and I'm even learning more things every day. Then mechanics, let me change my color. Mechanics, charge particles and oscillations is said to be in the grade 11 year or 12 year because some of the mechanics that you do in grade 11, you would need to do the mechanics that we do in grade 12 in AP physics, but some of you would be very capable of doing it in your grade 11 year already. What's nice about those kids that are um, that you, you know if you are capable of doing it, you could write this actually at the end of your grade 11 year already and then you don't have to um, write it in your matric year. So you don't have to wait for matric. There's only one exam paper, so you don't have a portfolio, one paper, three hours long, 200 marks, the same as your normal physics paper or chemistry. It consists of multiple choice and analysis of data where you have your normal graphing questions and then you've got structured questions. And the difficulty level is very similar to the actual physics paper. So you'll have 10% of your questions that are relatively hard. You will have some that are relatively easy and then you've got two different levels in between. Same as your normal physics paper. You can have a look at what we do for analytical skills. We go into SI units, uncertainties and significant figures and graph analysis, a little bit more detailed than what you do in normal physics, but it's quite fun because you get to play with apparatus. So if you are in a classroom situation, you'll be able to measure using different types of apparatus than what you use in normal science. Thermal physics, fun, you can see why things melt what happens when things um, boil, all those type of things. Modern physics, like I said, particles. Very interesting. If you're interested in stars and cosmology, how stars die and come to live, um, all of that you're going to do there. With mechanics, we look at different types of motion. So now projectiles, we're not going to just look up and down. You're going to look at what happens when I hit a soccer ball, how far is it going to go, those type of things. Circular motion, gravitational fields, what you do in school, but also a little bit beyond that because we look at orbits and satellites and all kinds of equilibriums. Charge particles, very fun to look at because you look at what happens with the charge particles when it goes into a magnetic or an electric field. And then we've got oscillations. Um, not a big part of the syllabus, but quite fun as well. You look at wave motion, any harmonic motion that would include even a clock moving up and down, back and forth. And then some energy calculations. So you can see these, you... If you're now at the end of grade 10, you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't know how to do these. But this is totally different. So it's not harder physics. This is what we do in our grade 11 year. And it's not harder physics. It is just different. All right. So if you now want to join a class, 
I will give you, um, anyone could send me an email if you really want to and get the details about um, online classes. There are um, many options. The chemistry examiner um, runs an online classroom, which you are able to join at a cost. Um, we, there are a few schools that offer it, but your option, if your school is not offering it, and I would say this is the easiest option, is to go online. And you will see there is an AP Physics online classroom. And all you have to do is type in apphysics.co.za and it will take you to the, to the home page. Because this, you guys are the first ever to do this, you will get a free enrollment. So you'll see everything is there, AP Physics, and you will see because it's in a developmental phase, you can see that you can enroll for free. Um, later on, it will be a paid for site, but not now. So you can just all go and enroll, even if you just want to go and have a look. No one's going to say that you have to write an exam because you've enrolled. So it's all good. Then um, you can see that the, the, the um, materials on the website has been developed by teachers from all kinds of different schools. So we're all helping each other to moderate the notes and all of that. Once you're in the classroom, you will see that it's set up into lessons. So if I click, for instance, on nuclear physics, there's different lessons. So lesson one will tell you exactly what to do, tells you about the Big Bang, gives you little videos to watch, tells you all the stuff that you need to know um, that you need to know. It also has all the resources. So the SAGS document, it will tell you, um, so you will see here, it gives you the, the timeline, it gives you everything that you need to know on this website. You will see that only the grade 11 work is loaded at the moment because we, like I said, we're developing this and you will then be able to um, see the material as it is being developed. And you can, you can send comments, please do. We would love your comments. So if you are interested in joining this, um, this website, you just go and type in apphysics.co.za and, and you go to the enroll for free and you'll be able to get started. If you would like to join any of the, you'll see there's a contact button there. If you would like to join any of the online classes, let us know and we will send you more detail about that. There is a textbook available also written by the chemistry examiner at the moment. And if you are interested in the textbook, you can also send us an email and we will um, we will let you know more details. So please, for the kids at my school, if you're interested in joining the AP Physics class, let me know via email. If you are at another school, um, you can ask your academic head or you can contact the website for more detail. But like I say, it's all up to you and it is a quite interesting course and you'll have fun doing it, I hope. <laughs> I'm having fun doing it.